William, yes. let's bring in let's bring in our next guest, a motivational speaker, Angel Corona. Hello, Angel. Hi, how, how are, are you? Nice, nice to see you. All right, motivational speaker. Boy, that's a bi that's a big claim right there. It is uh, a big claim. Was it was it scary the first time you did it? No, because the way I came about doing it is something that just really makes it very easy. So it's not scary. How'd you come about doing it? So uh, last June 2014, I had a life experience that led me to finding wellness, mind, body, soul wellness. I went from 211 pounds to 130 pounds. Wow, good for you. Um, wow. Thank you. Yeah. Are you married? Thank you. I am. Yeah, good for your husband, too. All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But what I learned was that you can't do that without having wellness in your mind and your soul as well. And so I've been on a journey to figure that out. Mm -hmm. And so I am. What got you to the, to the, to the 211 pounds and probably um, not feeling real good about yourself? Not feeling real good about anything. Yeah. Um, stress, a lot of uh, bad, bad, bad habits, eating, a lot of uh, bad coping just with life in general. Mm -hmm. um, just not doing well at all. Just really bad coping. Like what? Yeah, like when I would have a stressful day, I would you know go out for the huge coffee drink that was full of sugar, and I'd grab the donuts, and I'd go home and eat a big plate of pasta, and you know, and just kind of. So you you would use food to get through stress. Yes, okay. yes, food very much so, and also the eating a lot disorder. Of no, it was just, a just it was the way of choices. coping. It was just very bad choices, the way of coping. Um, I saw it as, oh, I need something to comfort myself. I saw that as um, I was taking care of myself by oh, making myself feel better. And what I didn't realize was that I was making myself feel worse because I was making myself sick, mm -hmm. which is what took me to that place in the first place. But sugar also, is a bad thing. Huh? Sugar is awful. But not only that, the stress and not managing it allow it just compounds and compounds. And so, what do you mean not managing wellness, your stress? Like you wouldn't yell and scream and get it out of you? Well, not I did yell and scream, but not in a healthy way. Oh. I was taking it out on everybody else because I was miserable. But um, what I mean is basically learning how to manage the stress. You know deep breathing, finding ways to relax my mind so that I can sleep well, finding ways to calm myself because I had a lot of anxiety, um, finding ways so that I could actually manage it and still function throughout the day without having all these bad habits taking, taking did, did, me on. Did you, did you go to any doctors? Were doctors giving you any pills to help you out or anything like that? Well, I did try to go to some doctors and yes, that was the road I was on. I made a choice to not go that route, um, which is why I'm here. I had a lot of people in my life that I decided to listen to finally um, in in the area of wellness and so I was able to do this all naturally mm -hmm. um, all eating healthy learning what the food was doing to me what foods would actually try or would heal my body um, what mental exercises to do so that I can start you know coming from a place of wanting those foods craving those sugars um, and really just kind of attacking it in that way so that it was a permanent change and it wasn't a yo-yo like, okay, I'm going to lose weight, feel better, and then I'm just going to go right back to where I was before, which has been um, pretty much my whole goal in this, this whole thing. Did you realize you were doing it when you were doing it? No, because that's all I had, had ever known. I, didn't, I had no awareness of why I was doing it. I didn't realize how miserable and unhappy I was. So I just figured it was the stress from life as far as kids or job. But what I learned was that a lot of the stress I was feeling was from very deep-rooted emotional healing that needed to take place that I had never really paid attention to, and it just compounded and built up and built up. Did you learn these eating habits when you were a child? No, I have a very healthy family. My mother when is extremely start? healthy when I moved out on my own. Um, I was a single when you mother. Hit the big world? Yeah, and when, you know, I, I thought that, okay, on my budget, I have to eat a certain way, which in fact now I know that that is not true. Um, you know, I'd do the mac and cheese, and I would do, you know, like the noodles, and all of those things that were cheap and easy, so I thought. Um, also not knowing I was teaching my kid to l eat that way too because right. I was the example. Um, and so now, I, and I, I've gotten healthier with my kids, but I just didn't take that advice for myself. Um, but in the process, I destroyed my stomach, I destroyed all of my hormonal, you know, what I had going on. Um, just completely overall was very, very sick because of the chemicals, the processed foods, fast foods. So not only was I heavy, 
but I was extremely sick physically as well. So um, my whole mission was to kind of learn what it is that I'm eating, how it's affecting me. And I had all these amazing people in my life that have been in our community for years and years and years doing just that. So what I decided to do was as I came through this change and I talked to all these people, that was the same thing they were running into. They didn't know who to look for. They didn't know where to go or how to eat. So what I decided to do was bring all these amazing people together and have this wellness day on May 30th. Mm -hmm. Half a day, we're going to have six people, and everyone is going to ro rotate all six people, 30-minute sessions, mind, body, and soul, just fire hosing. So it's quick, it's easy, and they're going to get all that information in one place at one time, one-stop shop. What's the location? Clovis East High School. They've mm -hmm. been gracious enough to host us. And um, so we're going to be there. It starts at 8 o'clock. It's going to be from 8 to noon. Quick, painless. But you're going to walk away with a ton of information on how to start right then and there, not only with stress management, not only with easy exercises that you can implement into your day, but how to eat and what the food is doing to you that you are eating and how... Um, Naomi from Raw Fresno is going right. to be there. Awesome. She's doing She's a session. Um, Leslie Dresser is going to be there. She's been in uh, this in for a long time, years and years doing this. And, I mean, everybody there. We have uh, Rob Espana, who's been in a naturopathic doctor for years as well. Then we have Len Almos and Cindy Dean, who are fan fantastic as far as fitness and how to plan and prepare your day their energy is just infectious and they teach you what can I do right now sitting in my office for five minutes that can help me kind of get my energy up feeling better so we're hitting everybody whole wow. body wow. yeah what's the cost it's only forty dollars for half the day and it's just gonna be wonderful amazing yeah awesome how do people get the tickets Okay, so my email is on the bottom of the screen there as well. They can email me. Also, we have on Eventbrite, um, we have the link on the flyer there so they can register. But they can email me and I can email them the flyer. So we want a really good turnout because we want to really impact our community. There's a huge need for this awareness. Sounds exciting. Yes. Sounds like a fun yes. day. Yes, thank you. It All will right. be. Angel's always good to see you. Thank you so much. A little bit more motivated after good. talking to you. That's good. Yeah, we're going to take a quick commercial break.